Yeah, welcome everyone to our uh, video and great that you are interested our, in our new Scapman version. Um, in this video, we will focus on how to upgrade your existing Scapman instance. If you do not have yet a instance, just watch our separate video that uh, starts from scratch. If you are interested in the new features of Scapman, we have also set up a video on that. Basically, upgrading your existing Scapman instance is quite simple. The only thing simply to say is to restart your app service. For sure, there are some repairments that you have to do. One, for example, is to make sure that your Scapman is getting the new application artifacts. In your Scapman configuration, you also see it on the slides, you can um, set the variable website run from package there you have to redirect to our um, GitHub, or you can also use a custom blob storage where you um, put this zip file. Make sure that you change the zip file to the newest version and then you're prepared. Um, Scapman 2.0 is already released in all channels. So um, yeah, when you now restart your Scapman, you should basically see the new version. Um, to also demonstrate it, let's switch to Torsten's tenant and he will show you how easy that is. Yeah. Here we see an instance in version 1.9 that is currently running and that has an update path where the current binaries are set. So I will stop it and then restart it. So at that point, it will make sure that it gets the, the latest binaries and install them in the background. And then in a few seconds, we will be able to switch back to the website and then we will see the new UI. Yeah, great. So if everything is now running perfectly, your Scapman should reboot and run under version two. Maybe now let's, uh, till we're waiting um, for Torsten's instance, let's um, yeah look what we need to do now. Um, after updating your Scapman instance, everything will still work. But we recommend to run a post-installation script now. Um, we have re released a new script in PowerShell Gallery, so it's easy for you to execute that script uh, that sets everything up. Um, for sure, you also need some rights on your um, Azure AD account like a global admin. And if you run the script on your client, you need also make sure that Azure CLI is installed. After you have prepared everything, you can just run the module as stated in the screenshot. Basically, it's downloading the module and executing it. If you're doing an upgrade, like in our example here, you will get prompted for several things. One thing is the name you want to have for your new Scapman Certificate Master App Service. And the second thing you are prompted for is the name for the new storage account that is needed. The storage account is, for example, needed for Certificate Master to store manually created certificates. Maybe some words on the scripts before we execute it in the demo. The script itself prepares a lot of things in background. Um, Scapman 1.0 used an app registration before to authenticate to Azure AD and Microsoft Graph, uh, to Microsoft Graph and Intune. With Scapman 2.0, we switch to a managed identity. This managed identity is set up by the script and would, will also automatically get all needed permissions. For upgrades, it's also um, yeah, important to add our new certificate master. That's one of the biggest announcements of our new version and the blob storage asset. You're asked for the name for that. So if you do not run the script, basically everything will still work. You will only get a new UI, but you won't get all new features when not running the script and you're not running on managed identities. If you want to get further details, just look into our docs, docs, and then I would say let's switch to Torsten's tenants. Uh, to Torsten's tenant, I think the restart should already be done, and yeah, we are already on the new portal of the new Scapman.
Yes, all I had to do was uh, press refresh and then I'm prompted with a new interface where we now see that there are some, some things to do still and I can copy out the code and um, I will choose the Azure Cloud Shell um, to execute mm -hmm. that because it's quite simple. Just in the top right, I can click the Cloud Shell icon. I don't have to install local files or everything. And also our custom Scapman module can be loaded into this and then uh, execute our, our code to, to update uh, what Stefan just described. So after a short wait, this will have loaded. And now I can right click and paste. Unfortunately, with resizing the window, this has scrolled over some of the existing text, but in the end we will see. Now the question of certificate. Uh, master app because there is none of that yet because version 2 didn't have that. It's asking me for a name in case I have a naming uh, scheme that requires me to sp specify a specific name, else it will just add dash cm to the existing scapman name, so that is fine for us. And after that, it should prompt us for the storage group, uh, storage account. So again, it says there's no storage account found and he will give us an example and we can either accept that or specify our own. This is fine for me as well. So now this links up all the objects uh, together, giving access to the storage account and managed identity, linking into Scapman itself. And now we're done. Great. So basically that's it now. Um, yeah, let's go back to the slides. So um, after the script has been executed, you should see again the portal as before. Everything should sh be shown as connected. And in background, as said, we've switched from the app registration to the managed identity. So the rights should still be there, but via the new way. And the only thing you will now um, see is that the hint uh, that you need to run the script should disappear now. Um, maybe important to add now, if you want to use Certificate Master, um, please also check the Azure AD under Enterprise Applications. There you will see the Certificate Master. And if you want to access Certificate Master, it's important that you add yourself or other admins there that they get access to it. Otherwise, if you log in with an un authorized account, you will get a failure message there. Yeah, I would say, Torsten, let's switch back to you. Um, hopefully your instance is also up and running, but I would say that looks good. Yes, it is also connected to all the, the, the other things that if you hit if refresh immediately will show connecting and then switch to connected. And so this concludes our update from Scapman 1.x to 2.